It does take people off guard. It's happening underneath your canoe as you canoe along. It's happening a few feet from your feet when you're fishing. And these animals are quite diverse and abundant in Missouri rivers, and they're doing absolutely amazing things, most of which have never or only recently been documented in any way. These blind shellfish have developed these amazing mechanisms for attracting not just fish, but the particular species of fish that they're interested in. Essentially immobile, mussels use fish as hosts for their young to help them populate other areas of the stream. They have developed lures to attract the host fish. When the fish strikes, the larval mussels known as glochidia are expelled and sucked into the fish's gills, where they attach and develop. Later, they drop off to create new mussel beds. Though considered a parasite, fish are not harmed by the larval mussels. There is an amazing variety to the lures mussels have adapted to attract their host fish. They can resemble minnows, insect larvae, worms, even crayfish. Here's one that uh, blows just about everyone away. This mussel fishes for bass and it uses a line and a lure. This white minnow-like thing is uh, bags of glochidia and it's suspended on the end of a transparent line. It's a, a cord, if you will, of mucus. This is a, a true fishing mussel. It's got a lure and a line. Now that's, that's pretty amazing, you gotta admit. 